So we do want to get out to uh, Mariero Ruiz. Yeah, you're out in Flower Mound who got hit pretty hard yesterday with some uh, very large hail. So you're talking more about that. Yeah, Greg, you know what? I was looking at reports just over the last 24 hours, and there were over 30 official reports via the National Weather Service, and a bulk of them were here in Flower Mound. And this is one of the communities that we did see reports coming out of. Uh, we're at the Rocky Point Estates, and it does look like there are some cars out here. It's still kind of dark. It's early, so we're not seeing any structural damage, but this uh, is kind of the scene. A lot of these cars are covered up. Now, this could be either from just a uh, a pre uh, preventative measure, or it could be from, of course, uh, windshields that were cracked. Uh, William Joy was out here last night and did see some of the damage, uh, but we were wondering, and uh, we were actually getting these questions of why we get hailstones of different sizes, and I brought in some demonstrations. Literally took this from my dog's dog bed this morning, so we have a few different size balls. Andrew, thank you for holding uh, Millie's tennis ball here. Okay, so what happens is you get these really strong updrafts, and with these updrafts, you have rain, and it's in the form of water. So it gets pushed up. Eventually, you hit the freezing line, and when that happens, water freezes, so it turns into a hailstone. Eventually, it gets heavy, and it falls. But sometimes if the updraft is super strong, it's going to keep going up. And that's why it keeps growing because of water that just keeps freezing on the outside. And eventually it gets really heavy. It falls. Sometimes these winds, uh, these speeds can reach over 80 miles per hour when they're falling. And that's why you see some big damage.